Hello everyone. Let's continue our lesson mathematics year one with the subtopic of say and write the time. You're going to do this lesson with me, your teacher, and my name is Amira. Welcome to all of you. Are you ready? Please be ready. Set up your study space. Prepare your mathematics activity book part two. Turn to page. 36 to 37 of your book. Hurry up and be ready! At the end of the lesson, you should be able to say the time according to the clock phase. Second, you should be able to write the time according to the clock phase. Before we begin, let's do some recap. Do you still remember what is our hand and minute hand? What is our hand and minute hand? Well, our hand is the short hand on the clock face. While the minute hand is the long hand on the clock face. As shown here in the picture, the our hand is the short one with the blue color while the minute hand is the longer one with the red color. Our hand and minute hand. Now let's look at the shaded portion on the clock face. When we have the shaded portion on the clock face, quarter, we will see quarter of an hour. Say with me, quarter of an hour, because the shaded portion on the clock face is quarter, as the minute hand is pointing to number 3. Now, the shaded portion has enlarged into half, half of the clock face. The minute hand is pointing to number 6 and we have the shaded portion half of the clock face. So we will say half of an hour. Half of an hour. Next, when the minute hand moves to number 9, we have the shaded portion on the clock face three quarter of the clock face. This indicates three quarter of an hour. Three quarter of an hour. Now let's learn to tell time according to both of hour and minute hands. We're going to tell time according to both of hour and minute hands. Look at this clock face. Can you tell what time is this? Look carefully. We have minute hand and hour hand here. So, can you tell what time is this? Minute hand points to number 12. Our hand points to number 3. Our hand is pointing to number 3. So, this is 3 o'clock. Say with me, 3 o'clock. When we do the writing, we can write the number 3 and we spell the word o'clock. Or, we can spell number 3, T-H-R-E-E, -E, and we also spell the word o'clock. 3 o'clock because the hour hand is pointing to number 3. Now look at this one. How about this one? The minute hand points to number 12. Our hand points to number 5. Hmm, can you tell 
what time of the of this clock face so as the our hand is pointing to number 5 this is what we call 5 o'clock say with me 5 o'clock well done next look at this clock face can you tell what time is this? Look carefully. Look at the hour hand and the minute hand. Well, as the hour hand is pointing to number 8, this is what we call 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Next, look at the clock face. Now, can you tell what time is this? Look carefully. Our hand is pointing to number one. Our hand is pointing to number one. So, this is what we call one o'clock. One o'clock. Now, let's learn telling time with help of shaded portion on the clock face. We're going to tell time with the help of the shaded portion on the clock face. Look carefully. Now, the minute hand points to number 3. Our hand points pass from number one. This means our hand is pointing between number one and number two, but still not yet number two. Our hand point pass from number one. And we have the shaded portion as shown here in the clock face quarter. So can you tell? What time of this clock face? As the shaded portion on this clock face is quarter, so we will tell the time of this clock face as quarter past one o'clock. Say with me, quarter past one o'clock. Well done. Next, let's look at this one. Minute hand has moved from number 3 and now pointing to number 6. And we have the shaded portion on the clock face half. Half of the clock face. Hmm. And our hand point pass from number 1. Our hand point pass from number one. So, on this clock face, it's telling the time of half past one o'clock. Say with me, half past one o'clock. Well done. Additional task. Additional facts. Now, the minute hand is pointing to number 9. But the clue is you need to look at the shaded portion on the clock face. We have the shaded portion on the clock face. Quarter of the clock face. And the hour hand point past. From number one, our hand point pass from number one, and it's almost pointing to number two. So, can you tell what time of this clock face? In this case, we can say the time of the clock face is quarter to two o'clock. Say with me, 
quarter to two o'clock. All right, it's question time. Look at the clock face carefully. Now, can you tell what time is this? Look carefully. The hour hand is pointing to number eight. So, what time is this? It's eight o'clock. Say with me. Eight o'clock. Now, next, look at this clock face. Can you tell what time is this? Our hand is pointing to number one. The hour hand is pointing to number one. So, can you tell what time is this? It's one o'clock. One o'clock. Next, look at this one. Our hand is pointing past from number one. Minute hand pointing to number three, which is quarter of the clock face. So, can you tell what time is this? It's Quarter past one o'clock. Quarter past one o'clock. Next. Minute hand is pointing to number six. And our hand is pointing past from number one. Minute hand is pointing to number six, which is half of the clock face. So, can you tell what time is this? It's half past one o'clock. Half past one o'clock. Next. Hmm, this is special. Minute hand is pointing to number nine. And our hand is pointing Pass from number one to number two. So, can you tell what time of this clock face? It's quarter to two o'clock. Quarter to two o'clock. Alright, that's all for today. For your main task, you need to complete page 30. Of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. Please submit this task before 5 p.m. today. Please take your pencil now and circle page 36 of your Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. This is your main task. Next, for your additional task, please complete page 37 of your Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. This task can be submitted after 5 p.m. Take your pencil now and circle page 37 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. This is your additional task. This task can be submitted after 5 p.m. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you. See you next time. Oh! Don't forget to log into your Google Classroom for further information. Bye!